Sag, how are ya? Um, Dad Sag life. So, you guys, I always get excited reading for you. I love Sagittarius. Um, I'm not biased. Hopefully that doesn't come across as biased, but, um, you know, fire is my natural element. So, you know, lots of Sagittarius, lots of areas in my life. Um, it's just something that comes up a lot. And I also have a lot of air in me, so you naturally attract um, your opposite element, whether it's literally your opposite sign, um, which I have a Gemini rising, so yes, Sagittarius is one that I, I find a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I love you guys. You guys keep it light, but you keep it, um, keep it enjoyable, very much like a Libra, but you're not tied to a relationship. Like, you don't feel like there's always got to be someone there like you you like independence um, um, but you know obviously like with the fire signs you always are gonna need help we're the little children of the of the earth so um, at times we will have to ask for help but the only thing that scares me with Sagittarius sometimes is that they have a penchant for running away um, for not really being stable necessarily um, for just calling it quits really easily. They can be very impatient. Um, it's got to be fast. It's got to boom, boom, boom. It's got to hit. You got to go. Um, very much like a, you know, like, um, gambling, you know, it's, um, if that machine isn't hitting. It's not, um, lighting up. It's not giving you things. Um, you're just going to move on to the next one. You're not going to stay put. You're not going to keep investing in something that isn't giving you that kind of like in instant gratification almost. Um, so we can see a lot of change with Sagittarius for that reason. I mean, you guys obviously represent some big philosophical things. Um, once we get into the later signs, we really are thinking a lot bigger. And it starts with you guys. Um, so we can really kind of broaden our minds and see beyond, um, you know, like this mortal coil in a sense and, and start to look for the deeper meaning in things and really, um, really, really look for some big self-improvement and how we can really affect change. So some big concepts. So um, I won't knock you guys down for being so impatient and being um, kind of... Um, you guys aren't shallow, I wouldn't say, but you're not very um, deep, for lack of a better word. I use that one a lot, but we don't see a lot of depth there. It's more of a, a growth. It's more of a constant change. So um, depth is more for the layers and um, seeing, a, you know what I mean? So it's like there has to be a lot there in the first place for there to be depth. And so that's not your guys's purpose necessarily. So we'll see that in different signs. But for you guys right now, Libra season, you could be um, nurturing some money. Um, you know, if we're talking about work here, um, you are holding on to something. You are um, really kind of mothering somebody in a sense. Like you've taken on that role like where you are kind of guiding someone or you're helping someone. Um, you just kind of don't want to let go of this job um, in a sense. So be careful. We don't want to smother something with love. We want to give it just the right amount for it to grow. Um, you know, if, if mom's giving you money or, or, you know, mom's come into some money recently, good for her. Um, Yeah, I don't get that one a lot, honestly. Feminine Earth Energy. You know, if we are talking about motherhood and the home, um, money is a question here. Money is, is what's presented itself, but it looks good. It looks good so far. There's, there's blooming... Um, it's, it's bright and shiny. Um, I wouldn't say it like is the most positive looking card, but um, it looks good. But just don't 
don't focus only on the money, only on the material. Um, you guys are, you know, just like I was saying in the intro, um, you have to think bigger as a Sagittarius, so don't narrow your vision because um, you guys don't do well when you do that. It's not natural. So, Libra season. What do we think? Okay. So, if we are earning the money, um, we will feel good when we give a little bit back. So, um, Libra is really, you know, stemming from Virgo season, really a great time for charity, a great time for giving back. Um, maybe mom needs some money. Um, you know, maybe that's how you can nurture somebody by kind of giving them financial stability or just giving them something. It doesn't necessarily have to be money. Giving them a job, a position, maybe you're, um, you're opening that gateway. You're kind of not a pity hire, but you're like maybe giving somebody a little more, um, leeway than you usually would. So, but the scales present themselves for a reason, so make sure you're not giving more than, than what you, you need to have at the end of the day. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hmm. So Empress, so really motherhood could be here. Um, the Empress is the mother archetype. Um, she's kind of the major arcana queen. And then all the minor suits have a queen of their element, um, just like the emperor is the official king of the major arcana. So he translates to that. So the Empress, um, maybe we are giving back because we want to feel good. We don't feel good right now. We don't feel beautiful. We don't feel loved. Um, we don't feel um, all of those things. We don't feel fruitful. Um, we don't feel cherished. We don't feel pampered. Um, and this is really having to do with the love life. So is that, a, is that a, a good reason to give back, or are we genuinely giving back because um, it's the right thing for us to do, you know? Or are we just redirecting the, the energy that we're not receiving, or the void? We're trying to fill a void here. So you got to do it for the right reasons. Maybe mom's going through a divorce. I love it. It's like one of those like shortened words that I like to say, um, but I feel like if the wrong person like overhears me say Sag, they're going to be like, what did he say? You know, so I like have to watch myself in public where I'm like, hey, Sag, or whatever. So, but I like it. It's fun. Um, Page of Pentacles reverse. So, um... Hmm. 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 What are you trying to say? Um... What are you looking for in a career? 
um, because we, um, it's not really time for us to change. Just because you're just, you're not feeling good, you're not feeling wealthy, um, doesn't necessarily mean we need to go in a completely different direction or on the other spectrum if you are being offered a new direction a new career um, a new position um, you, you don't really seem to be considering it um, and you could be foolish it could be a lot better than it seems but you guys just aren't um, you're more concerned with hmm, trying to figure out how to word this um, hopefully we're not hoarding money here um, but this may be a really good opportunity that you guys aren't noticing um, or a change needs to happen and you're not noticing. If you keep going your, your path, your way, you could walk right over the cliff, you know? Like the fool is a zero because it's like a rebirth in a sense. Um, but it's like a, a rebirth... Um, with danger ahead, you know, it's like, um, uh, you have to still survive. You can't just be, you can't just go anywhere. I mean, the full card is a definite, like, normal card for a Sagittarius reading. That's like one of the cards, if not the card I associate with you guys the most. Um, so it's like you're, um, Whatever your position, though, you're not feeling, you're not feeling loved, and you are feeling, yeah, like not open. Maybe money is a big distraction right now. Huh? This one just came up in the uh, Scorpio reading. So money is on the table. Um, it's really, really shaking things up. Um, if we're being foolish about how much we actually have and that we're not holding on to for ourselves, um, you know, it's it's just like, are you treating yourself at the end of the day? Ooh, two pages. Two pages reverse. So whatever it is, you're not open to suggestions. You're not open to seeing beyond what's face value right now. Um, maybe you are acting a little foolish. Um, you're just so concerned with the money. The money is really stressing you guys out. Um, that you don't you don't feel like there's opportunity. It's just you kind of have to get to a better place first. Oh wow the hell what the hell God, so many pentacles um, seven of wands is really complacency we are not happy it's so weird it's like you you guys are giving me mixed signals um, this is job complacency this is um, we're not satisfied by the work we're putting into something. It's not rewarding. Um, we're not getting what we need from it. Um, if it is material wealth, if it is money, um, or if it's just like, a, you know, like that, that thing that we need to know that we're doing what our purpose is, because that's very fire. We have to have purpose and we have to know that we're working towards something and you guys don't feel that way at all right now. Um, but it's like, it's like you're so complacent. You're so like 
blah that you don't even see change as possible right now. It's really interesting. Um, yeah, it's like you don't want to look for meaning in things. You're kind of, um, <laughs> you are neglecting the signs. Drop off. Neglecting the signs. Um, you're not giving me any answers here, or a solution. Solution, rather. Just, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff on the table, but there's no solution. Maybe. Ooh, maybe you don't want to change. Feeling very not yourself right now. Don't overdo things. Don't overindulge. Um, I mean, especially if you're already feeling bad about money. You know, like, don't go and buy a, a shit ton of alcohol or drinks or whatever, whatever have you, um, you guys, you know, if there's any season to look for balance in, wouldn't it be Libra season? Um, but you guys aren't looking for balance. You guys aren't looking for anything right now. Other pinnacles, goddamn. <sighs> um, one second. Sorry, sorry, real sorry about that. Um, <laughs> I wanted a snack, and I was like, ah, I can't do this in between videos. So, King of Pentacles reverse. Mm. Mm -mm. Where are you at in your head, in your mind, in your castle? That castle does not seem very warm right now. Your fire is not lit. Um, you, yeah, you are not enjoying things. Um, hmm. Weird, weird, weird. You are not loving labor season. Maybe you're having to address the vanity. Um, and, you know, maybe you're being called to give back or to give to somebody. And usually you guys don't even just don't feel yourselves right now, let alone feeling like you can you can give back. So we got we got one page here. So with swords, um, we're looking at the mind. So. How do I put this? Um. An intellectual journey, um, intellectual pursuit. Maybe you feel like you've learned it all and are now kind of stranded on your own, or this this train of thought is really isolating. Um, you're just oh, interesting. What? Two of Swords after Page of Swords. The hell? Um, huh. I mean, we're blind to seeing this this new train of thought, this new intellectual way. Um, 
we're getting really defensive. We're trapping ourselves. We are giving ourselves an ultimatum and we don't even want to know the answer. Like, you're, you're being really difficult. <laughs> you're being a bitch. Okay, no. Um, but... It's really hard to say what's going on. It's like there's um, a lot of new paths three pages. There's only four pages, so that'd be crazy if we got the fourth one, but um, what's missing here is fire. And that's your natural element. You guys are just not feeling inspired. You're not feeling creative. You don't see the possibilities. Um, maybe you're feeling argumentative. Maybe that's the Page of Swords. Um, you're welcoming um, like an intellectual challenge or something. Oof, oof. Okay, so a lot fell, but these were face up. So we're gonna go with these here and get this. These are all reversed. So we already know by now. If you've watched my channel, I hate when this guy's reversed because that means that you are not doing the right thing, the not the just thing, the moral thing. You, the position you've taken is um, one that should not be commended. You've taken the wrong side, um, and people are fighting you. Um, but in this sense, um, it looks like they're doing it justifiably because you have just convinced yourself or are trying to convince others that they're wrong, and they're not. You've just take a skewed position here. You've you've isolated yourself from the truth almost. It's like you. Because you don't feel like you can go places, because you you aren't open to change, you are hurting yourself again and again. You are letting these swords really pierce you at your 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 most vulnerable. Um, you don't want to take them out. That pain is um, not that it's comforting, but you just you guys just aren't in the right state of mind. Um, and if, if we're being asked to change the home, to go places, we don't feel like we're ready for that. You're not ready to go anywhere. It's almost like with the Page of Swords, like you're trying to convince yourself of something, but... that maybe you can still make this this king of pentacles energy maybe you can still make this situation work and it's like you're taking the wrong approach you're not noticing things you don't feel yourself so you're just not in the right frame of mind so i would i would definitely say don't make any really big decisions right now you guys got to get to a better place before, um, so you can start seeing all these pages, all these new paths, the chariot, temperance, yourself, all of it upright, because you don't want to, make some big decisions when you're not at your best, or when you're not feeling at least good, because you guys aren't feeling good. You're really not. And I feel like if we're talking about Sagittarius as a sign and what I would see through tarot when you guys are feeling normal or what you would emulate, yes, we got the fool, but that could easily mean we're feeling foolish. Um, and the cards around it kind of say that, that we're not noticing things. Um, what I don't like with this is that there's a lot of reversal and you guys are all about progress. You're all about improvement. You're all about change for the better. Um, you know, how far can you reach? Um, and 
we don't feel like we can accomplish anything. We don't feel like we can reach any goals. We're not setting any goals. There's nothing to look forward to or to work towards here. Um, it's really, really not ominous because there's not really a lot of like dark cards, but it's just you're not happy. Um, but there's not really a solution. Um, you're not giving yourself a solution. You'd rather just kind of keep keep inflicting more damage on yourself. Um, you'd rather just um, keep nurturing the pain. Um, I yeah. Maybe take a step back. Maybe see what's really going on here. If you're just not seeing the signs, if you're just not noticing what's right in front of you, um, it's high time. It's high time to really, really see things for as they are. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make any huge decisions right now. But you guys got to take another perspective. You got to turn this around. You've got to. Um, 